Hi everyone, it's Sue. Welcome back. So today I'm working on my day 34 of the 100 day project. So with my 100 day project, I'm making four inch by six inch cards that can be used as journaling cards or pockets in future journals. And today I just wanted to um, do one of my sketches. Now, if you have been watching me um, recently I have started teaching myself to sketch. I always have to have a reference to follow. So the one that I will be doing today is I have um, printed out from Pinterest. Now I don't sell these cards so and the sketch doesn't end up being exactly the same anyway but um, I just thought I would show you my process. So I'm just going to lay down some random watercolour on the back I'm going to dry that off and then I am going to um, start my sketch I always sketch with pencil first and then I will go back over that with a felt or permanent pen so I'm just using a light pink and then I'll use like a crimson color on top of that So I've made sure that that is uh, completely dried before I start drawing on it. So I'm really sorry if any of my head pokes in to the screen as well. Uh, I've never uh, filmed myself sketching and I'm very nervous because I'm putting it out there now. So I always like to just start with uh, a circle of some sort just to give me a little bit of an idea of where I'm going to put these flowers. And um, as you can see, I'm hesitating. So I'm just trying to picture where everything's going to be. Where do I start? I always, I know sometimes I start in the middle. Sometimes I start on the outside. So the lines from the pencil are just a, a rough guide, um, just so that I've got something to go by when I actually fill in, in the rest of the flower with the permanent pen. So I'm just going to speed this up. Um, I will probably delete some of it out so you don't have to watch the whole process. Um, but I will come in at the end and show you the finished card.
So I think the de most detailed part is putting all the veins in the flowers to make it look like the petals are flowing the right way. Um, and I ended up going over the flowers again just to make it a little bit brighter um, as I think that the pen work got a little bit lost in the watercolour. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I will put at the end here some of the photos of when I've gone over it again. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. And until next time, I hope you get a little bit of creative time in. Take care and we'll see you soon.